So if you're swimming or fishing in a clean freshwater lake quite like this one, this unpleasant incident might happen to you. Like it happened to me when I was fishing in one of Ontario's northern lakes. After standing for about an hour in the water, I started to notice a few leeches were attached to my legs just below my knees. I started to panic, I started to cry, I didn't really feel anything when it was happening. The leeches, they looked quite gross, and my first instinct was to get them off of me as soon as possible, by any means possible. So I started to tear them out of my skin. Having a panic attack in this kind of situation was not good, especially pulling leeches that are attached to your body is stupid and it's dangerous. Not just because it's extremely painful, but because pulling leeches, their jaws might release or spit out some blood back into your wound and can cause contamination with some bacteria and viruses that were present in the body of the leech from any previous hosts. If you've ever been under a leech's attack, it is always worth to check every inch of your body that was exposed to the water. Leeches can easily get under your clothes or into your shoes. Leeches will normally stay attached to you for about 20 minutes to an hour, and they uptake to about 15 milliliters of blood. After they are done feeding, they will simply fall off on their own. They have an anesthetic component in their saliva and an anticoagulant, heridine, platelet aggregation inhibitors. This is why their bites are almost unnoticeable or slightly painful. Macrobdella decora, or the Amer North American medical leech, has three sharp saw-like jaws and 100 sharp teeth that leave a Y-shaped mark after their bite. Medical leeches are used for centuries to treat different diseases like hypertension, varicose veins, skin inflammation, and other conditions. First, do not panic. You can simply let the leeches stay on and feed until they fall off on their own and just get all the benefits of a cool leech bite. Or if you don't feel comfortable doing that or if you're getting an allergic reaction, you can use your fingernail to carefully scrape them off. There is also another really effective way to get rid of leeches and that's using alcohol spray or a cloth soaked with rubbing alcohol, rubbing alcohol spray, and apply it onto the head or like the head area of the leech. Leeches get irritated by that and they will immediately release their teeth. The same way you can use a pinch of table salt. The leech will fall right off right away after you simply apply some salt. Leeches can attach themselves by their head and their tail, so you have to choose head suckers for applications. Because of heridine, the anticoagulant in the leech's saliva, your blood can flow for up to a few hours, and it is important to treat the leech's bite for that reason. The area where you were bitten would have to be disinfected by any antiseptic, like alcohol, rubbing alcohol, hydrogen peroxide, iodine, or zilonka, brilliant green, which is my personal favorite. It's very bright and very ugly, but it is a very effective medicine. If your wound is still bleeding after that, put some sterile dressing and keep the pressure. Provide gentle compression and keep pressure until the bleeding stops. Apply a triple antibiotic cream if you have one with you. After that, put a tight sterile wrapping around the wound. You can use any clean cloth or towel you have with you. By the way, Leeches are one of the favorite prey for lots of freshwater fish like pike, bass, trout, and perch. And I'm going to see if I have any luck with this. This lake has a lot of smallmouth bass and lake trout. I'm going to hook one up and see if I can catch anything right here from my campsite. Eventually, after an hour, I caught a bass and a perch, but no big fish. But it's okay for dinner. This is how I turned a blood-sucking event into a delicious dinner. I hope you liked this educational video. Please leave any comments or questions you have below, and don't forget to subscribe.